For many decades, ignition coils had this cylindrical design, big and bulky and quite inconvenient. Starting from the mid-70s and all through the 80s and 90s, with newer models coming out and with the available space in the engine bay continuously shrinking, manufacturers and designers came up with new ideas and new shapes and sizes, leading to a shift in coil design, and as a result the winding in this big-ass coil is now able to fit in this small tube, the outer part of which is actually an aluminum cooler while the ignition coil itself is the black oval part in the middle. Way smaller than the old one. So we've reached the point where this small coil is able to produce equal, maybe even higher voltage than this big ass coil. And even though the shape and design is different, the operating principle is the same in both coils. Three leads in this one, and three leads in this one also. High tension terminal here on the old one, high tension terminal here in the new one. One terminal for the battery plus and one terminal for the interrupting device on the old one and the same on the new one. One lead for the battery plus and one for the interrupting device to create the spark. Basically they are both the same, only the shape and size is different. The new coil even has the same markings on top as the old one. Number 15 for the battery plus through the ignition switch and the number one where the interrupting device is connected be it a pair of contacts and a condenser or a transistorized ignition module. So today we'll try installing this new smaller coil in place of the old one and see if the car will work at all since we're talking about a car that is designed to run with an older type ignition coil. In this specific model, a 1979 Citroen GS We've installed a new type connector in the coil wiring, one of those waterproof ones, but other than that there hasn't been any other modification. And once we've connected the new coil we can start up the car and as we can see it works fine just like it did with its previous one. The coil we've installed is from a Volkswagen Golf Mark III, a model produced in the 90s, which means that technologically it is newer than the previous design. It remains to see how long it'll last since it is smaller and maybe size does matter after all. For the final installation, we've secured it with a screw in that small bracket nearby so that it is far enough from the engine so as not to be exposed to heat that much, but also close enough so that it doesn't need a longer cable. And that's it for today. Good work! Thanks for joining me everybody. Take care!